my name is Johnny and this is the Harley Benton RB414 BK. Uh, now if you hadn't guessed, the RB stands for Rickenbacker. I've never been a massive Rickenbacker fan. Can't quite get over the way that they look and I'm not overly keen on the way they sound. However, you know when Toman do that thing where they upload pictures with the black background and the saucy angles and just see it and can't stop thinking about it for a week. That's what happened with this and so I ended up buying it from Toman.com all the way from Germany uh, for £170 or £169. I've heard before Harley Benton's getting bad rap for quality control out of their factory. Um, I've tried a few before and I've never had any issue. But this is the first one that I have owned and from brand new. It's pretty diverse in the range of sounds it can get. Straight out of the box, playability wise, was pretty good. Um, I did have to raise the action a bit, weirdly. Normally on these things you've got to really lower it to get it where you want it. I had to unscrew these ones and just get the Allen key that they provide and raise this side up because this side had sunk down a little bit. I did that and it played great. It solved it straight away. I've got no intonation issues at the moment. Um, these are the strings that, uh, that came on it. Um, yeah, it's for 170 quid, you can't really ask for more. I won't ramble on about all the specs and things like that. There's a link in the description where you can read all that yourself. Um, whenever I watch these types of videos, I, I never listen to that kind of stuff anyway. I just want to hear them play and hear what they thought and, and see what it looks like. I obviously really dig the aesthetics of this one. It came with a pickup cover on the bridge. Um, classic looking but for me my picking style and where I like to rest my thumb is mainly over between the neck and the bridge not towards the bridge itself I know a lot of people pick down there where the strings are a bit tighter but I like to really give it some when I'm picking um, and so I do that in the middle between the um, between the neck and the bridge I really liked the way it looked with it on but it was just unplayable fret wise the fretting work is actually really good. I've played fenders with sharper frets on the edge. The only issue I have is the nut. Um, the nut is so sharp. You won't be able to see it on here, but that thing could slice straight through your fingers. So immediately out of the box, I realized that the bridge pickup was pretty weak. When you just change it between the pickups, the volume difference is huge. The tuners I think are alright, it seems to stay in tune okay, I've played um, more expensive basses with cheaper tuners. I noticed a bit of an issue with the volume balance across the strings. The A and the D string were much louder than, than the outer two, so these inner two are louder than these. Um, which sometimes, because I often prefer playing on those middle two strings, they're probably my favorite. Um, and the open E can be a bit too boomy sometimes if you're transitioning from the from the A string. Um, so I thought that might combat that, but it's kind of the other way around where 
you get the clanginess of the A string, but then there's just nothing on the on, on the E string. So for me, that is a bit of an issue. The other thing is, if you look closer, the cheapness does shine through. You can kind of see on the pit guard there are some sharp edges and bits where it hasn't really been done quite as professionally. It looks like someone's made it out of like a just a cheap bit of plastic. The other thing is around the neck pickup. I'm quite a percussive player um, and so this is a bit of a problem for me where if I'm on the neck pickup and I tap it around like this, I'll show you a clip now you can really hear that coming through in the pickup and if you're if I'm playing finger style around the neck which typically where my fingers kind of sit I do you can kind of pick up on that a bit more which just makes it sound a bit messier So another issue I've seen is the controls. So for the controls, you've got one volume and one tone for each pickup. Now this works when you're selected on the two pickups. When you're in the middle, um, this just seems to go out the window. You seem to have two master volumes, but not for the two pickups, for the whole pickup circuit. So one volume knob will take the volume completely out of both of them, on both of the knobs, knobs and then two tones, which seem to do the same thing. The other weird thing is that when, you, when you're turning that master volume knob, when it's at its highest, it's not at its highest. At about three quarters of the way up, that's where the volume is at its highest, which is just bizarre. My favourite setup on this is probably either with Sans Amp in the middle section, kind of gives it a more humbucker, uh, scooped sound, um, or just with the dark glass um, microtubes X Ultra um, on the neck pickup. I think that's my favourite sound, hence why the, the first clip I showed was that, and the last clip I'll show will be that. Um, it's just, just so thick sounding and so kind of vintage and modern at the same time. The vintage sound I think coming from this kind of neck style humbucker and the modern sound from the dark glass combined I think sounds really cool. Will I keep it? Who knows. I, at the minute I keep picking it up just because of the way it looks and the way it sounds is a bit different from my P bass and my jazz bass. It's one of those cases where tone can kind of inspire the song. So instantly, when I pick this up, I start playing Lemmy's sounding. It's just got that feel to it. I just want to, I just want to rock out on it. But at the same time, you're playing like almost like Motown funk stuff. Um, it just make it just inspires me a lot, and that's what I think I look for in a lot of instruments. I've had lots of basses over the years that are brilliant basses, but just don't inspire me uh, to, to be creative and I think that's the most important part I think um, not just in playability and sound but in looks as well something you've got to want to pick it up and want to actually play I think so um, yeah this this is doing it for me on that count at the minute but if I can justify keeping it I'll, I'll probably pass it on once I see something else that I'm after but it's a really cool base and I would recommend checking it out when considering it if this is the kind of thing that you're after.